This is the luxury world. Get inspired with us today and tomorrow. For years, Rolex watches have been seen as more than just tools for telling time. They have been desirable symbols of status and profitable investments for some. Wearing a Rolex symbolizes more than just luxury. It is a solid gold investment. With their iconic style and the exclusivity that makes them hard to obtain, their resale value keeps climbing. But why is that? In this video brought to you by the luxury world, we will explore the reasons behind Rolex current market status. Focusing on specific Rolex models that the market downturn has notably impacted, we will closely examine the Rolex market to identify which models are unexpectedly decreasing in value. We will explore the reasons behind these trends, analyze the current market dynamics, and offer insights that will benefit both seasoned enthusiasts and first-time buyers. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, we invite you to do so now to stay updated on our upcoming videos. Now, let us take a closer look at the Rolex market update. Recently, Rolex introduced some shiny new models and discontinued a few classics, naturally shaking up market prices. To understand the current situation, let us rewind and examine the price trends over the past few years. Remember March 2022? Trying to buy many Rolex models at retail from authorized dealers was like searching for a needle in a haystack. High demand and low supply drove market prices above retail. But here is the twist, since that peak, prices have gradually returned to their pre-pandemic levels. Meanwhile, the retail prices for new Rolexes at authorized dealers have quietly risen each year, narrowing the gap between retail and market prices. It is becoming rare to see models trading for more than their price tags. As we examine current market movements, a few trends stand out. For one, flashy solid gold pieces are now available at surprisingly good discounts. Moving to steel and gold models, they are often priced below their official list prices. Meanwhile, the steel professional models continue to sell above retail, driven by how much hype they generate among enthusiasts, but they are holding steady overall. When it comes to monthly price changes, there are not any dramatic shifts, but here is the scoop. Prices are fluctuating slightly, indicating that buyers are actively searching for good deals. Let us now move forward and take a look at some of the Rolex models that are currently losing their once high value. Let us start with the Rolex Explorer. The Explorer 1 has been gaining traction lately, particularly the 40mm model, which is approaching its retail price on the market. There is a bit of a size battle going on. While purists favor the 36mm for its vintage appeal, it is the larger 40mm that is drawing more attention and money, likely due to its bigger size commanding a higher price. Now, shifting to the Explorer 2, it is a great time to consider this model. Currently, they are available at retail prices directly from authorized dealers with no added premiums. Between the two dial options, the white dial remains the top choice, outselling the black. If you have your eye on this watch and do not want to wait, you are in luck since it is available at a fair price without the usual delay. Shifting our focus to the Daytona, the new 126 reference models in steel are making waves. The white dial version is currently trading at around $36,250, while the black dial variant is somewhat more accessible at about $31,250. This widening price gap suggests that white dials are becoming increasingly rare. For those who appreciate a blend of metals, the Daytona with a black dial remains an excellent choice, priced around $23,750, which is a sweet spot for fans of steel and gold combinations. Notably, Daytona models with Oyster Flex bracelets are retaining their value impressively, even surpassing some of the more luxurious metal options in Rolex's lineup. Additionally, the classic 116 reference series, including the white gold Ghost and the yellow gold Pikachu, remains highly valued. The Ghost, with its more attractive price point, continues to be a favorite, offering a tempting alternative to its newer counterparts. Let us continue with the Rolex Chi and the Root Beer model. Right now, it is close to its list price of $14,300, so if you are not inclined to wait in line, you might find one slightly above retail. Next, we have the Guinness model, a striking combination of steel and yellow gold on a Jubilee bracelet with a black and gray bezel. It is currently selling for around $15,500, just a bit above its $14,600 list price. The Guinness is often hailed as one of the sleekest GMT Master II models, now edging out newer all-steel versions in popularity. Now for the Sprite and Pepsi models which were previously rare finds before the Watches and Wonders event. They are still in production, leading more sellers to enter the market rather than waiting until 2025 to see if they get discontinued. 
This rush has caused prices to drop by about $1,000 to $2,000, depending on specifics like bracelet type and age. Interestingly, the GMT Sprite is traded more often than the GMD Pepsi, as many collectors prefer to store the Sprite rather than wear it. And let us not forget the Batman and Batgirl models in the GMT category, holding steady with prices ranging from $13,000 to $14,400, remaining popular among buyers and sellers alike. With a recent buzz around the Steel GMT Master II, dubbed Bruce Wayne by watch enthusiasts, there has been a surge of interest in the older full black bezel GMT 116710LN model, which was produced from 2007 to 2019. This piece, with its rich horological history, is currently available for around $12,700. This is a great find for those looking to delve into the world of Rolex. The date just 41, especially with its mint and Wimbledon dials, continues to attract attention, mainly because they are relatively easy to find brand new. Recently, several two-tone models have been selling for less than their list prices, making them appealing to those who love the combination of steel and gold without wanting to overspend. Additionally, the classic white or black dial models in steel retain a timeless charm. While less flashy than other versions, these watches offer understated elegance at a more accessible price point, making them a strong choice for those who appreciate both style and substance. Regarding the Rolex Submariner, the date version is stealing the spotlight in the buy and sell market, drawing more interest than the no-date version. While we admire the clean lines and symmetry of the no-date Submariner, it seems the crowd favors the practicality of the date model. As for the Starbucks model, it is commanding a premium due to its rarity. Going deeper, the steel and gold Submariners, both blue and black versions, are now selling at discounts, with the blue model slightly outperforming the black. Both are dipping below their $13,750 list price. Regarding the rose gold date 840 with the olive dial, it remains a staple. It has not been discontinued, and its market price is gradually aligning with retail. If you are thinking of adding it to your collection, this year might be the ideal time. Meanwhile, the yellow gold model with a green dial is highly sought after, topping demand charts. Its market price has eased slightly to around $45,000, still above its $33,800 retail price but moving towards a more accessible range. On the other hand, the Roman numeral Champagne Dial Date 8 offers timeless elegance. While it does not try to grab attention like flashier models, it holds its own in terms of sophistication and value. For those exploring the Date 8 lineup seeking a balance of traditional charm and strong value, this watch could be a perfect choice. Now, let us shift focus to some watches that have maintained steady prices over the past month. When it comes to the Oyster Perpetual, it is all about color and personal preference. The green dial version is a favorite among collectors who already own a few Rolexes, adding a vibrant touch to their collection. On the other hand, the Celebration dial has not attracted as much buyer interest, even though its market price is around $9,100 to $9,200. It seems more people are betting on its future value than looking to wear it now. Securing any Oyster Perpetual from an authorized dealer can be difficult, especially if you are avoiding the Celebration dial. If you do not want to wait, Paying a bit extra on the secondary market might be worthwhile. This scarcity is likely due to lower production numbers, as Rolex tends to prioritize its higher margin models. Even if some Rolex models are not appreciated, they remain exceptional timepieces. This trend might be your chance to acquire a genuine Rolex without paying a premium. By understanding which models are experiencing a decline in value, you can make a smarter purchase. What are your impressions on the topic that we shared in this video? If you enjoyed the video, we would appreciate it if you let us know by leaving a comment and giving it a thumbs up. Do not forget to follow our channel for more content. Thank you for watching The Luxury World, and we look forward to having you join us in our upcoming videos.